everybody, welcome to Saturday Mic Talk. It's the end of the week, and that means we're looking forward to the first day of the week, the Lord's Day, in which I hope you'll be in church. If you don't have a church home, then welcome to Song and Sword, online church community. That's what we do tomorrow. You'll hear a sermon right here that's going to be an awesome teaching, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to share it with you. Uh, if you're close, come to the Chateau at 9 or 1030. Uh, we meet there every Sunday, and we have... Uh, we have children's programming at the nine o'clock hour through fifth grade. So bring your kids and bring your friends and let's celebrate the Lord together. Hope to see you tomorrow. Hope you guys are well. I want to celebrate a couple of things today. Happy birthday to my awesome, sweet, loving, uh, beautiful daughter-in-law, Monica. You guys know her around Song and Sword Church. We simply could not do this ministry without her, but today's her birthday. So happy birthday, sweetheart. And uh, also, I want to celebrate, guys, we're 12 days into this 52-day challenge, Come Let Us Build, and we've received already almost just under $50,000 in gifts towards this building that we want to purchase uh, on Jefferson Street. So God's doing amazing things, and uh, I hope that you have um, uh, prayerfully considered what you're going to give, and I hope that you're enjoying it. I'm going to get to that in just a moment in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 9. But um, I just want to encourage you. You can go to songandsword.com. You can hit donate. Uh, many of you, I, I think we've got 11 or 12 $1,000 gifts. We've got three or four $2,000 gifts and two $10,000 gifts. So you can see that people are taking to heart this idea. If we raise $250,000, we already had about 100000 in our building fund and, um, and promised and accounted for uh, through our general fund. And so that is probably um, still intact. So we got another 100,000 plus 50,000. Man, if we, can, if we can keep moving towards this goal, uh, we are gonna be in a really good position uh, to purchase this place. And we're doing all the behind the scenes stuff for insurance and inspections and plumbing and, and the roof and all that kind of stuff. So just pray for us, pray for this pastor, because all I wanna do is preach. <laughs> but I'm also a businessman for Song and Sword, Inc., so there it is. Uh, pray for me today. Pray for us at 149. I'm praying for you, and keep praying. This is the most important thing. Maybe you've determined a number. Maybe you're making a sacrifice to give uh, to this building fund, but more importantly, let's pray for God to miraculously work through the cheerful giving of His people, and that's what I'm going to talk about today, 2 Corinthians chapter 9. I'm going to pick it up in verse 6. Uh, Paul's talking about how giving, and, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because um, this is what the all church study is going to be about this fall. We're calling it hilarious generosity, and it comes from this passage. Maybe you're familiar with it. I want to read it to you, inspire you to it, and, um, and also um, just encourage you to this beautiful thing called giving. Uh, verse 6 of chapter 9 of 2 Corinthians, the point is this. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. God loves a cheerful giver. The Greek word there for uh, uh, cheerful is the word, wait a minute, I need some more coffee. The, the word hilaros, hilaros. You hear the word hilarious in that? That's what it means. It means it's a joy to give. It's fun to give. It's, it's one of the greatest things in the world. It really is true what Jesus said in Acts chapter 20. Um, he's quoted as saying, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And some of you are experiencing that, the joy of giving. I, I, don't, I don't want to talk anybody into giving. Um, I know it's a, it's a Christian duty, and some of us look at it as that we, we should be giving to the church of Jesus Christ to build his kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. That's what Song and Sword does. And if you're a part of Song and Sword, you should be giving to the church. If you're a part of another church, you should be giving to that church. And I believe that um, the tithe is the Old Testament standard for that. But I'm, I'm hoping to move the hearts of the people of Song and Sword from we should give to I want to give to... I want to give more to this is hilarious. This is awesome. And um, I, 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 I don't know that I'm a hilarious giver yet, but it is way more fun after a, a lifetime of giving to the church. I'm having way more fun now giving stuff away. 
And I want that for you. And God wants that for you because God loves a cheerful giver. Do you see this? He doesn't, he doesn't love it when you give reluctantly. Oh, here's my money for the building fund. Here's my money for the church. Here's, here's some money for someone who's in deep need. Uh, he doesn't like, uh, you know, he doesn't care for a reluctant giver. He doesn't uh, like someone who has to do it under compulsion. Hey, you owe me, so pay up. He likes someone who says, I can't, I'm giving to God, look at this, he's given me so much, and now I get to give him more, I get to give him more. And before long, it's just fun. I've had an opportunity this last, uh, last week, um, both personally and, and for representing um, Song and Sword Church, to give to people in need in this town. And uh, I'm telling you, it's, it's fun. It's fun to roll up to a place where people are hungry and go, hey, we have some leftover hamburgers and some hot dogs and some t-shirts uh, for you guys uh, and give them away and see the look on their faces of thanks for food. And then just a, a chance to pick up a, a lady that was sitting out right outside my house today and take her to a, um, a place where she could get some help. And uh, just that conversation blossomed into another conversation. I'm having a blast giving. I want you to have a blast giving. I want this to be something where the Lord looks at uh, Song and Sword Church someday and the whole thing he's doing through us and says, those people are hilarious givers. Amen? God bless you guys. See you tomorrow.